all right welcome back to the channel as i promised you last time that we'll be working on adding another field to our woocommerce uh, checkout page after we managed to remove quite a number of things so let's jump right in so today i want to talk about let's say if we wanted to add maybe a passport number to our fields here we're requesting for information so what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to add another field that requests for the passport we'll be able to save that data and we'll be able to retrieve it uh, depending on the different users and we'll also be able to add it to our order field so let's jump right in all right so we've already prepared our plugin and we've already added our content that we need to have here and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into my plugin section and actually activate uh, this particular plugin. So if we just look here, we have it here. So I'll activate it and we have no issues so far. And what we're going to do next is now we're going to start tapping into the other hooks of WooCommerce. So we have a hook called uh, WooCommerce before order notes. And basically what's going to do for us is that it's going to look for anything that is before this section of adding order notes. So this is a hook that we're going to use. So I'll just cut it and then add an action because we're going to be creating new content. So we use the add action in comparison to add filter, which actually uh, modifies existing content. So this is the hook we'll use. And we're going to give it a function and we shall just call it a lab add passport field. So this particular function that we have here, we're going to open up the function, add it, and then uh, open our brackets. Just copy this here and add it to our function. And then the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to tap the WooCommerce form field uh, function which is existing in WooCommerce and this will allow us to actually add our content um, to the particular form field or the processing page. Now the few things that we do need is that we shall need an ID for this. So I'll just call this uh, the lab passport. I'll just uh, prefix it to allow it to uh, pass without any errors and then the next thing that we need to do is that we need to pass an array of information uh, which will have the type of uh, input field that it is whether it's a text or it's a number what classes we're going to add in terms of styling what placeholders and so on so in here uh, first of all we shall add what type of uh, content it is so we shall add a type which is a text and then we're going to add a class to allow it to style just like all the other uh, pieces. So we shall add a form dash row dash wide, which we actually have on the checkout form. We shall just look at it quickly. So if we go here and then just check out uh, the styling of this field, we shall see that it actually is wrapped in a, in a span that is wrapped inside a paragraph tag that has a form row and form row wide as a class. So we'll just add uh, the form row wide in there and then we're going to give it a label. So the label which we shall call a uh, passport number for example and then uh, the next thing we shall do is that if we need a placeholder we can add one so we'll add a placeholder and then I route that and the placeholder we're going to have is maybe B02928 or something like that let's imagine that's a passport number and how we do it and then we shall add whether it's required or not so is it required if we say it's going to be true uh, this needs to be a, a boolean uh, kind of a post type so what did we do yeah we forgot a comma here so I'll save this okay 
uh, the last thing that we need to add to this is that we're going to add to our checkout we're going to append the get value get underscore value function and in here we're going to assign our id that we already have here which is at the lab passport so i'll just paste this and save this and then uh, of course i'll uh, allow this to be terminated we have a comma here again as we pass information into this action and into this particular hook we're actually provided with uh, the checkout uh, we're provided with the checkout uh, argument in our function so when we pass this in then we shall be able to actually call it down here my class should be an array of uh, of content so i'll just make correction there and then save this yep and we have it clear we have our new passport number field actually put in here and uh, it's ready for use so we have our field already registered and now it's ready to go now one thing we want to do is that you realize as you go to WooCommerce or if you go into your users account uh, in WooCommerce uh, with WooCommerce installed and activated you'll find that in your profile you actually have a couple of a little bit of information added to your particular uh, to your particular to your particular profile so what we are going to do is that uh, we're going to also add this information so that it can be picked from your profile should you be a returning customer from uh, time to time so what we're going to do here is that we're going to tap the the WP get current user function and what we're going to do here is that we're going to store it inside a variable so we'll call this our current user so current user is equal to that and what we're going to do is that we're going to get the saved or the let's call it the saved uh, passport number so we're going to get the, get the, get the passport number that is saved and we shall tap it from the current user and then uh, of course we map that to <coughs> the ID that we saved here this value here and we shall just add it there and then we shall terminate this with our uh, semicolon that we're going to add a default a default field a default attribute and we shall add that as the current sorry the saved passport number that we're getting from the user so if that is available then we shall make this uh, available this information available so if we go back to our field and reload nothing is broken as we can see so the next thing that we're going to do is actually we're going to save that information so part one was cre create the field the next part is actually to validate our checkout field so what we're going to do is that we're going to use the next action hook in our WooCommerce and we shall need a, a function and the hook that we need here is actually very simple and it's called a WooCommerce checkout process so WooCommerce checkout process that's a hook that we need so we'll add a function to it and we shall call it a lab validate a passport field I hope that that is something that makes sense and is uh, is memorable so we'll add the function close it off and then we'll add of course the function name which we'll just copy from here and paste here and then we'll go inside here and then we shall validate that information so we start by if adding an if statement and we say if if we haven't posted any information and of course this is part of an array and we shall just call this id if we haven't called any information in that field and this particular piece is coming from here if i just go here you'll see that our id is a lab passport number if we have not posted this information then what we are going to do is that we're going to add a notice 
and we'll just use the default uh, WooCommerce function which says add a notice and inside the notice we pass in a message I uh, will say please add your passport number of course we'll add this as an error the reason we are passing this okay forgot my con semicolon here I'll save it no errors anymore the reason we are adding this notice is because we've required this field to be fillable uh, if you come on the front end you'll see that it actually has that red star if we had made this false and actually save this here and then reload then there is no point it's actually saying it is optional so there would be no, no point for adding this field here so I'll just undo this and save so anytime we I'll reload this anytime we try to place our order and we have not filled in the passport number it actually tells us <clears throat> right here in the error please add your passport number so I'll just follow this same format of what we have here so I'll just uh, go copy this and then change this here and say the passport number billing passport number is a required field so we'll have some kind of unity coming in there now the next piece of action that we need to do is that we need to be able to add this information to our order so that when someone uh, actually fills it out and we go on the back end we should be able to see that order fully filled and then it should have that passport number so what we're going to do is we're going to get the next um, action this action is actually WooCommerce checkout WooCommerce checkout update order meta so we'll add it there WooCommerce checkout update order meta so this will add that uh, that metadata onto our order post type so we shall just give this uh, this here and then I'll just call it save new so instead of validate we're going to call it save passport field and in this function function add the function and it is we're going to get the order ID and then we shall get this order ID by getting the order and then we shall map get ID function on it and before this function of course receives the order the order argument coming from uh, using this action hook so we'll get the order in there and we're basically going to use this same information so we'll use this I'll copy this and say if there is no post uh, passport number in our in our case if this is not filled in then what we're going to do is that we're going to update our post meta and we're going to update it with a, a little bit of information I'll close this off then we can jump right in so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to first pass the order ID which is the post ID of uh, the post type order and we've gotten it by just filtering the information here so we add in the order ID the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to pass in this this field which is a lab passport number but the first thing we do is append it with an underscore at the front and then the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to pass a sanitized escape attribute function and then we shall pass in the posted number so I'll just get this post passport number and then pass it in here so this will come well sanitized and we can save this so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're actually going to also throw this as part of our admin order data so we're going to throw it in our admin so that we can see it uh, we've finished picking the information through our form here we've validated it and shown that if there is an error then we should be able to throw a message saying please fill it in now in this instance here 
we've updated the order meta inside our database, the next thing that we want to do is actually add it on uh, the page so that we can see it as an administrator. So that requires us to use the WooCommerce admin order data after billing address. So we're going to add it after the billing address and that's why we use the admin, the WooCommerce admin order data after billing address. So I'll just cut this and say add action as our function as our function and then of course the usual we need the hook which we'll paste in and then the next thing we're going to do is just copy this and then we shall add this and say we shall just call this particular function show admin lab show admin passport field in the order so order that's what we shall call this function and then next thing we're going to do is add the function space give the function name and then do this and then that what we're going to do is uh, essentially the same thing so I'll just copy this information here copy it paste and then I'll be able to explain what happens so this also receives the order because we need to get the order ID. So in this instance we shall get the order ID and the next bit of information actually here is that we're going to do an if statement but it's going to be getting the post meta. So if get post meta because we're assuming that this information is there. So if it is true, if we get the post meta and we pass in the order ID, we pass in the the ID of the post meta that we're talking about and then in here we pass that it is true so that it is a string instead of information if that information is available then what we're going to do is that we're going to echo this information and we're going to use some paragraphs so we'll add our paragraph tag which will close and what we're going to do is uh, of course we are going to pass in some PHP here and the first thing we're going to do is I uh, get the post we're going to get this and then paste it here I also realized that I made an error I didn't close my bracket here so I'll close that so this is what we're going to pass in but before we do that I want to show that we actually uh, are working with a uh, the, the passport number so passport number we have our strong there then we need to close off the strong tag here strong don't forget to put the backslash to close that off and so we have that echoing out and that's a good step so we'll be able to see it on the admin side now the final nail to the coffin of course adding our our semicolon to terminate that is that we might want to pass this information as part of our email that we send to our customer that this is the information used to book so we have a funk uh, we have a, a hook called a WooCommerce email after order table so WooCommerce email after order table. So we'll just cut this and we know this is an action. So add action as a function. Of course, it requires its arguments. First is the hook that we are pasting in. Then finally, we are adding a function name. And the function name will be uh, show show passport field emails so we'll just copy this lab show passport field emails so then I'll terminate this and then we'll just copy what we have here as a function so function terminate that as a, and then inside our function what we're going to do is essentially the same thing that we did here so 
if in our order we have this post meter of a lab post number, if it is true, then we are going to get a, a couple of things that we do need here. Of course, in the post meta, we're getting order ID, which is a post ID. Then we add in the ID or the name of uh, the meta that we want to get. We add in true so that it comes back as a string. And then finally, uh, we're going to echo it out and say, this is the same thing that we do need. Now, of course, in this here, we, in our function, as we pass uh, this particular hook, we get the order just jumping in there. So what I'm going to do is I just get the same thing here. Copy and store our order ID in that way. So that when we are querying for our post meta, we directly just add in the order ID. And then when we are of course throwing it here, we also still get the same thing. Now of course in this, this particular function, we get a number of other arguments that are thrown in. So sent to admin so it's being sent to the administrator and then we are sending it as a plain text and then we are going to send it to the email of our customer so this is the information that we are getting and we are throwing and passing in into our email so i'm going to save this when we come back here and add our our passport number in there and then place an order. We actually get a server in an internal server error because we have an error here. And if I quickly browse through this, I'll actually see the hook, uh, the WooCommerce checkout update order field actually passes an order ID, not order. So we'll just add order ID here. And then of course that will work. So let me just clear this out because we forgot the not here when we're copying. That's why it's giving us an error. Now of course when we add these other uh, arguments into our function, we need to tell WordPress that we actually are going, we first of all need to give it another priority and say maybe let this come at 20. But we're going to be passing in four arguments. So to remove any errors, we need to pass that in our, our, our action hook. So we now come back to our shop, add some orders into our cart, then go to view the cart, skip updating. Let's go to process the checkout. Uh, all our information is coming back because that was already added. So when we add our passport number, for example, and say this is a nice order for me, and then place the order, WooCommerce checks out and then we have our order received here. So what I'm going to do is go back on the back end and look at the orders and we'll see that this is the last order that we made of 73 pounds. So when I check it in here, we're going to see that we have our passport number actually highlighted here in our order details and we're able to find this information useful here. Now, of course, if I was to check my email, of course, it's a local server and it's not well set up for mail, but I would also see that my email would come the passport number actually added in there as the content. So thank you for checking out this video. I hope this is helpful that you'll be able to customize your orders even better. Uh, so let me know if you have any other queries or any questions and please leave a comment, like the video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching and happy coding and enjoy your e-commerce street.